Hello, my name is Lea. I'm representing Slovenia this year at the Eurovision Song Contest in Lisbon with song Kvala Ne. And this is EurovisionLive.com. Hello, Lea. How are you? I'm fine, a little bit tired right now, but it's okay. It's eight o'clock already. Yeah, yeah. it's eight o'clock already. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Did you have a chance to see a little bit of uh, Lisbon so far? Yes, I'm here with my kids and my husband, so um, always when we are free, when we have free time, we just yeah. go, we pass to, to relax a little bit. So it's a very nice place. Mm. I love it. Uh, you won the uh, Slovenian national final called um, EMA mm -hmm. and you had a beautiful stage and I think it was the main part of your song. Now in Lisbon they don't have LED. How can you cope the situation? Do you have something instead uh, beside of this illuminating floor? Yeah, we changed a little bit the choreography. Um, of course we would need that lead um, walls and everything, but we just chose the plan B. So uh, we have a lot of moving, you know, we, we just move to the stage. But I think I don't need anything with that song because um, it's difficult to understand it, but once you know it, you know it and you don't need to see, I don't know what, you know, the, 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 the sunshine, you know. So I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm anyway, I'm singing to the, to the audience, to, to people in front of the camera. So I love it. And your song will be uh, in the native uh, native Slovenian language. Um, is this a rule from uh, your television uh, broadcaster? Yeah, it was a rule. Yeah, they they actually gave me some uh, opportunity to change, yeah. to change it. But it was too late, you know, changing that in last minutes. And and, and I think that Hvala Ne, that's the point of that song. And if if I would change that, I would change the song. So oh, okay. I just stayed in Slovene because. Anyway, after the Eurovision, you know, that stops and you need to survive somehow and I need to sing it. Yeah, do you think it's a disadvantage to sing in your native language or would you love to or prefer to sing it in English? It depends on the song you have. Um, that song would, would, sound better, would sound better in English, of course. Mm. But, you know, the way I'm made, the way I perform, it's actually the same thing. But for many countries, that's... That's not maybe the best, uh, the best uh, thing, you know. Uh, your song is about uh, a little critical song about the uh, industry, the commercial industry, and you say no, thanks. Uh, could you explain a little bit? Yes, I wanted, uh, you know, everywhere we're listening to how we need to be polite, how we need to be kind to people, and you know, all say yes, be kind, you know, do whatever they say mm -hmm. because that's right. And I'm a mother of two kids. And I know that they need to have their own, you know, their, their own opinion about things. And uh, I want everyone to know when to say Hvalane, when to say no, thank you, I don't need that, I don't like that, you know, I'm, I, I, I'll say it loud. And I say Hvalane to all those masks, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't like people, you know, saying like, this is so nice, this is so beautiful, and, they, and then they become unhappy because of that. Um, as soon as you say, what you think as soon as everything will be okay and you will learn. Of You're life. not wearing any brands, so hopefully. No, yeah. I'm not. Everything. I'm not. But any, anyway, I say it's very. <laughs> I, I chose that style for the Eurovision, but that's fake, you know? So, oh, really? yeah, that's fake. Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's very funny because I'm talking about taking the masks off and I, I, I put that on. Yeah. But I couldn't change it, <laughs> so I have that, those extensions. It's like, nice to live with the contrast as well. Yeah. Um, you have already gained some valuable experiences in the European Song Contest because you have been the backing singer in, the pre in previous years. So yeah. can you take it, take it as a, an advantage or ex an experience, uh, what you can take out of it? It was a very nice experience as a backing singer. I saw all the procedure about that. I know how what means the first rehearsal, what means the second rehearsal. So I came on stage tonight very very calm very focused and when they said something to me I really understood what I mean um, what is television what they want from me so um, I try to, to to keep that energy and to be to be calm till the 10th of May 
contest. You already won some contests. Uh, I, I read that you, the music competition in Cologne, and uh, that's quite, uh, and, and especially with the flute. You're, you're a concert f uh, flute player. Flutist. Yeah, I'm a flutist, professional flutist. I studied that for long, <laughs> like 13 years. Uh, but no, that was classical music, and I just didn't find myself there. Uh, it's classical, you know. <laughs> I'm not a classical person uh, because I like, I like the television. I like, I like big stages. Then I started to sing, and that just took me so much that I almost left flute. Do you have any Slovenian favorite songs from the past? Maybe Daria Schweiger song? Or yeah, I love Daria Schweiger's mm. song. I think those uh, ballads from those years are very good from Slovenia. Um, but you know, it's so difficult to say because I almost, I, I recorded almost all the backing sing vocals for all those songs. So <laughs> it's difficult to say because I'm subjective. In those. Do you have a personal favorite uh, from the past or from this year? I loved uh, Here For You from Marea. Yeah. Then I loved uh, Maya Keutz, Vanilla, No One. Uh, but one very old one, Danna Lepšich San from Regina. I loved it so. Okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, Lea Sirk. Uh, good luck and enjoy your time here in Lisbon. Thank you. Thank you.